This isn't endorsed by smart water or anything. It's just I need some water. And I can't be bothered to use a cup. So, yeah. Sip and snack. I don't know when this is going up. This is being filmed like mid-May. Basically, it will show up whenever I run out of ideas and need to send something over. That's all I'm saying. Uh, you know, there is, I'm not even going to send it to Owen until basically he gets it and puts it up. So, hello me in the past. Even though I don't watch myself because I don't feel that confident or whatever. So, yeah, the title is probably something to do with pork. The thing I'm trying to con considering of doing is like pork and like six exclamation marks. Because it's a porky day. Um, over here, a sort of traditional snack of pork rind. Um, pork scratchings, whatever you want to call it. And because I thought I better do a backlog soon. I better, you know, in case there is a backlog where I'm needed. Let's film some stuff. Uh, so I bought five bags of various things. Um, trying to work out what order to do this. They are, let's have a look, that's pork crackling. That's pork crackling, that's crunch, that's pork scratchings. That's pork crunch. I do not know what to see. Um, well that's crackling, so... That's scratchings. Let's start with these. So, uh, we're starting off with, uh, from Wolverhampton in the UK. Pretty much home of, uh, Mustache Mountain and, uh, British Strong Style. Certainly the Black Country area. So, shout outs to them. If you're not a wrestling fan, ignore it. Uh, we've got authentic black country pork snacks, traditional black country pork crunch. Uh, it says on the back that uh, made with 247 grams of raw pork rind per 100 grams. This bag it weighs, it does not, oh, 25. So I'd say that's about, what, 250 divided by, that's about 60 grams of pork that's been turned into this, I guess. I only recommend it for people with strong, healthy teeth. Oh, I should have read this before I actually bought the freaking things. That's good. <clears throat> that's good. Um... Right, it's certainly porky. I've had like pork, uh, well, pork rind hot before. Um, off one of the shops, they do like a big sort of giant slab of it with the pork rind. So, uh, yeah. Let's see. Don't get too big of it because you know I don't want it too big. So there we go, smallish bit. So it looks like I don't know a quaver. I don't know whatever they're called over there. Sort of like a a what's it? Certainly smells like pork and uh, porky rind. Let's have a taste. Yeah, it's basically uh, basically yeah. Uh, Basically the same as the other stuff that I've had, which is, you know, it's nice. It's actually not as firm as I thought it was going to be, which is pleasantly surprising. So, from there, we're going hot, hardcore. Because from the same company, we've got pork scratchings. The twist here is these are 315 grams of raw pork rind. So, 
it's probably more substantial. They certainly feel a lot sturdier. I just realised I'm going to have to eat these all once we're finished. And when you see one of the bags, you'll be hoping that I don't die. Ooh, these are dip. Wow, these are like soft. It's like bulging. Like I can actually squeeze it. It's got moisture in. Well, I guess it's probably because it's got actually more fat in it. It's not been cooked as much to actually dry it out. So, hopefully this doesn't go in my teeth too bad. A ladle of salt on that. <laughs> Uh, it's very similar except it's slightly juicier because I guess because there's more pork rind used per 100 grams admittedly the bag is also three times the weight so is interesting because it's only that's 247 grams per 100 this is 315 so it's only like a quarter more but sometimes somehow it's three times the weight I don't know so now <clears throat> we move further north to uh, Wigan for open jaws finest pork crackling 65 grams here it doesn't say anything in terms of uh, what it has in terms of uh, percentage of meat used well every care has been taken to remove all bone somewhere you remain again something that's a bit concerning for you to see on the packet Different smell, this one, from the bag. Also looks crunchier, doesn't look actually that firm. Yeah, this is, woo. This is, this is like pork scratchings, but they've just cooked them, so they're not soft. Here it goes. Wow. From the outside, that's pretty dry, but as soon as you bite in, you get the moisture of the fat that's inside the thing. I'll try and get this one again. Because, you know, it doesn't look... I'm trying to squeeze it. There is a bit of give. It's not like with these where it sort of will crumble in your hand with the pork snacks, or the pork crunch, as I guess it's called. But, wow, um, uh -huh. yeah, it starts off dry, but then you get the moisture in the middle, so, yeah, again, I'm still trying to work out how I'm going to eat all this in the next however many days, please tell me I've got some bulldog clips, so now, final company, this is Ray Gray Snacks. There you go, Ray Gray Snacks Pork Crunch from Rugeley in Staffordshire. Um, from a place called Power Station Road. I've been there before, not actually for where these are, but uh, unsurprisingly, it's next to a power station, hence the name. This is a big ass bag. I probably should have bought a smaller one. I don't think they do them though. Um, again, sort of quavery. Oh, they've actually they've flavoured these. These are actually so. This looks like as if you look actually look at it, you can sort of see the black pepper. Hopefully, probably isn't coming on the camera. There are some black spots. If I, if I hold it up still enough, you might be able to see him. 
sort of. I don't think it's working properly. So, um, yeah. This is about three times the size. Uh, we got a weight on it, please. Do we have a weight on it? No. That's right. Oh, 90 grams. Wow. That's such a big bag, yet it basically is the same as them. That shows you how hefty the pork scratchings are. It's about half the size. <laughs> I guess that makes sense now that this would be only 25 grams when it's the same size. Right. Bon appetit. Wow. That's pepper. That is a lot of pepper and seemingly very, very little sort of pork. I mean, the taste is there. It's got like the, it's got the smoky bacon flavour. But you get the pepper straight in, really. Admittedly, on that second bit, it, you got more of a more of a smoky bacon taste. Which of course, what's that's what it'll be because it's pork. Having a good wash out because the first, one, the final one, is a bit of a difference. We're back to uh, Ray Gray again. But uh, these are a bit different because this is traditional pork crackling. But as you can see, it also has, if I can tilt it right, an applesauce dipping pot inside. So it might be an impromptu, let's try all the rest of the applesauce dipping pot. I don't even know how big the pot is. Well, there's the pot. Oh my god, it's a mystery pot. Do -do 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 -do. And it's already slightly been done thanks to the way it's been packaged. The foil will slightly come away at the tip. That's not that's not good. Um Let's God I've <laughs> got too much on the table. We Can I even open this? Can I even open this without destroying it into a billion Bazillion pieces. I don't think it can. Shouldn't have cut my fingernails. Really? This is fucking brilliant. I mean, I don't mean to swear in these, but... Oh, oh, oh. Something's happening. Sorry, this is riveting uh, YouTube, isn't it? Oh, it's gradually. <clears throat> well, it certainly is apple, uh, apple sauce. Trying to tilt it so it doesn't tip up. Certainly is apple sauce. Lick a bit off the lid. Damn, some good apple sauce. So what have we got in here, in terms of this pork crackling? Uh, again, this is more scratching. Is that a horn? That looks like a horn, that's too big. Uh, let's go with something, that's too small. There we go, something in the middle. So, so actually let's go with a small one, in terms of how they taste without it. That is more akin to pork scratchings. It's interesting that this, the one from Wigan, this pork crackling was dry but then very moist. These you can actually sort of feel the moisture on your fingers and whatever. So now, because apparently this is a thing, well, I guess, traditionally, I guess if you do have sort of pork over here it does get served with apple sauce so. 
So I dipped it in. Let's have a That, that weirdly makes sense. So you got somewhat the sharp sort of bitterness of the pork. Well, certainly the saltiness. But then if you add the sweetness of the apple sauce, it sort of complements it so you get both at the same time. So I guess it sort of does your sweet, sort of combines your sweet and your salty somewhat sour which probably means it's umami and all that stuff so but yeah overall not too bad now what do i do with the rest of it i didn't think this through